Well, joining us now from Islamabad, TV host and journalist Ahmed Qureshi. Thank you very much indeed uh, for being with us, uh, Ahmed. And so a, a truly shocking attack on that mosque in Peshawar yesterday. It has already been claimed by the Afghan Taliban, is that right? Yeah, by the Pakistani Taliban, not the Afghan Taliban. Sorry, the Pakistani Taliban. Uh, yeah, exactly. The, the Pakistani Taliban. Of course, for the for the Saudis, this was their second statement condemning in a week, condemning a terror attack uh, at a place of worship. They three days ago they condemned the attack uh, uh, on a synagogue in Jerusalem and uh, killing civilians, and they said they're opposed to any attacks uh, uh, on civilians. And this is the second statement in a week condemning an attack on a place of worship, this time, of course, in Pakistan. 100 killed, more than 200 injured. This is a country in mourning. The prime minister said this is no less than an attack on the country itself. Uh, the military commanders and the army chief met uh, earlier today, and the army chief basically said that this is a, a cowardly, immoral act that will not uh, diminish the resolve of the country to fight terrorism. Uh, this is a country right now, Laura, in 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 in, in soul searching in in mourning, uh, just uh, a year and a half ago, a segment of the population in Pakistan actually celebrated the return of the Taliban to power next door in Afghanistan. Of course, the the attacker this time is a splinter group that is part of the Pakistani Taliban, who is. In, 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 uh, who are in some ways allied to the Afghan Taliban in Afghanistan and have been using uh, sanctuaries in Afghanistan even now, of course, in contravention of the peace agreement that the Taliban signed with the United States uh, and agreed not to allow Afghan soil to be used uh, for terrorism by any group or entity. Now, there's a, a resolve in Pakistan, of course, right now to fight terrorism, a renewed resolve. The defense minister has hinted there might be a military operation over the next uh, a few days. The uh, army chief uh, has instructed his commanders to continue intelligence-based operations against these terror groups. Now, now, there's another important thing here, Laura. Uh, the the security breach that the uh, police chief uh, that you just uh, the clip that you showed uh, referred to uh, is a serious uh, serious uh, security breach. Uh, this is a very fortified uh, uh, part uh, of Peshawar, which is the provincial capital of the province, which adjoins Afghanistan. And uh, there was supposed to be a, a, a high alert in that area. Uh, how the suicide bomber was able to reach. Uh, to this part, uh, and and I have to tell you, more uh, most of the uh, of the uh, uh, the casualties, most of the hundred people killed in this attack are actually members of Pakistan's law enforcement, the police and other law enforcement agencies. So this is a huge hit, really, uh, for Pakistani law enforcement, uh, for the country. Uh, especially now when Pakistan is really reeling under an economic crisis. Uh, the last thing the country really needs a security situation of this sort that really has shaken the country right now. So a country in mourning, 100 killed, more than 200 injured, and a possible military operation in the next few days. And uh, Ahmed, just briefly, um, I mean, are the activities of the Taliban in Pakistan linked to the rise or the resurgence of the Taliban in Afghanistan? Uh, there's no way, and this is what the security officials here in the country tell us, there's no way uh, for this increased activity uh, by these terror groups uh, to, to reach this level without some sort of uh, sanctuary. And the only sanctuary that over the past few days we've seen for these terror groups uh, has been either the Afghan soil or the Iranian soil. So we've seen, we, we have these two ma major Pakistani provinces that adjoin both uh, Afghanistan and Iran. And most of the terror activity that Pakistan has seen over the last, I would say, 24 months has been in areas joining either Afghanistan or Iran. Just a couple of weeks ago, uh, the Pakistani prime minister and the country uh, actually uh, summoned the Iranian ambassador uh, and protested at uh, an attack that happened from the Iranian side of the border, uh, attacking the Pakistani side, leading Amen. to casualties. And we have a similar situation, of course, across Ahmed, the Ahmed, thank you very much indeed for explaining all of that to us. Ahmed Qureshi there in Islamabad. Thank you.